Um, so hi everyone. Oh, this is um, yeah, my name is actually a bit longer um, than in the introduction, so it's Dami and Satyanathan, but because no one can pronounce that, so your mistake, <laughs> you're forgiven. Um, it's please just call me Dama. Um, so as um, per the brief inf intro, um, I work in the comms and campaigns team for Help Aid International, which is kind of like the yeah which is kind of like the um, best kept secret in the UK because we don't really have a public facing brand here. Um, so if you know A2K, we're sort of like the international version working for older people's rights in um, low and middle income countries. Um, just to give you a really quick overview, so I'm just going to briefly tell you what we do in terms of data. Um, so it has a bit more of a linkage to this talk here. Um, why we use data visualization and how we've used Tableau in the past and a bit on the stats that we've gotten from using Tableau in the past and um, currently still using it and just some very general industry insights from how charities or NGOs are actually using Tableau. So just about help age, sorry, I need to figure this out. Um, just in terms of um, what we actually do, so we try to um, promote the rights of older people in low and middle income countries, um, working towards their inclusion in humanitarian response, for example, but also for um, digital inclusion, so they're more literate when it comes to using the internet, for example, and um, quite a lot of other things. We're present in more than 75 countries um, with approximately 100 13 civil society organizations being part of the network, so we're quite widespread. Um, and in terms of what we do, so we work on social protection and livelihoods, so we have older citizens monitoring schemes where older people themselves are actually collecting data and are using um, mobile applications in order to share the data to um, governments and local stakeholders. We do a lot on health and care where we get data on um, specific health outcomes tools um, and just on nutrition data in, in uh, rapid assessments for humanitarian response. We do a lot on disaster risk reduction, humanitarian response. So we went to Nepal, for example, had a lot on post-distribution monitoring and in the Ukraine as well where we used tools like um, Kobo Toolbox, um, which is sort of like a data survey uh, mobile app and we do a lot on advocacy in terms of sustainable development goals and all the things there. So our partner in the UK is um, obviously Age UK, but also Age International, which is a DUC member, hence um, for us being able to respond at the Nepal earthquake or the Typhoon Haiyan response a couple of years ago. So that's what we do. Um, just to talk about how we use Tableau and why we use data visualization in general. Um, quite, there's quite a lot of disconnect when it comes to older people themselves. There's not a lot of data available in terms of um, assessing the needs of older people in humanitarian response specifically. You have quite a lot of instances where they just cap the cohort at 60 plus and there's a lot of need to actually get more data in that sense. Um, what we've also learned is that there's a lot of income inequality, and um, especially in the older age cohorts, and there's a direct correlation on the availability of data sets and um, the economic and social well-being of older people, which is why we um, scored quite a lot of data sets from the World Bank, um, from LIST, which is the Luxembourg Institute for Statistics, um, which kind of use OECD data sets as well and uh, came up with the Global Age Watch Index and that is one of our policy advocacy, advocacy tools where we um, heavily show that there is a lack of data by using data and emphasizing the visualizations using Tableau. Um, just a few pointers on the index but you'll see the slides in the later version somewhere online as well I guess. So um, we've used Tableau and we've had, in, in our first year, we've had very generous help from DataKind, um, who have organized a hackathon um, with some of our HelpAge staff members and volunteers who just came in to actually explore the kind of um, possibilities that there are. 
and data kind volunteers and who knew um, have actually come up with the different data sets that you can see on our Global Aid Watch website. So this is just an example that shows how you can use the existing data sets to compare countries on the economic and social well-being of older people in four different domains. And um, for this particular exercise, they've used um, Tableau Public, um, which was very, very useful for us to be then embedding it on the website. And um, we've continuously used it in the past. Oh, I've got one minute left. Um, we've continuously used it in, um, for our annual publication. So we've, uh, yeah, for the last three years, we've used Tableau Public on our website as well. Um, just in terms of media engagement and stats, so these are the top line um, stats that we've gotten from um, media engagement on the web and social media. You've, you've, got, you've quite a few media outlets where, where we just provide them with the actual CSV files and they use data wrapper, like the Guardian used data wrapper, for example. Um, you have other outlets like AFP, um, who've also used Tableau Public, which was quite nice. Um, so they're actually just replicating the work that we did, <laughs> which is a bit of a pickle for us, but um, it still means that we got exposure for the kind of work we did. And that we are certainly going in the right direction of doing more in terms of data visualization. Um, just on the industry insights, can I just go one more minute? So that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, so, for example, um, there was a data visualization workshop that was organized by um, the Luxembourg Institute on Statistics um, earlier this year, where the World Bank was one of the um, one of the panelists there as well, one of the speakers, who actually said that if you've used Tableau in the past as well, in order to get more traction of using their data for their equity labs. So it was Latin America and Caribbean and just looking at poverty rates in, in that particular region. Um, but they came back saying that there was not a lot of engagement with that particular visualization. And that was mostly because they put a lot of effort into actually doing the data visualization, but didn't really have any sort of particular budget allocated to marketing what you were doing. So one of the industry insights that we've gotten from other organizations as well that, that have used data visualization, especially using Tableau in the past, were that you really need to focus on getting a marketing budget as well and just getting the promotion out there that people really do love to get a really simplified overview of what you can do with the data and having these kind of tips handy of how you can explore the different data sets is actually really handy. So yeah. That's one of the considerations. And yeah, if you have any questions, just shoot. Thank you.